The New Year period was to be dominated with an occurrence that rendered the supposedly all-important winning of football matches as futile when compared to a real-life tragedy. Phil O'Donnell was a Celtic man through and through. Arguably, the Celtic support never got to see the best of his abilities due to an injury-ravaged career. But Phil was an important component in a 1995 Celtic team that took the club's first silverware in six years and the Wim Janssen set up three years later that famously stopped the ten. More than that, he was an out-and-out -out gentleman who regarded his family as his proudest achievement. His untimely death robbed him of a fitting career finale, but he now joins the illustrious ranks of fallen hooped heroes who graced the green and white of Celtic Football Club. This was a fact acknowledged on the last Sunday in May when the season's record crowd of 59,382 turned out to watch Vim's class of 98 play Motherwell's Cup winners of 91 and pay tribute to Phil who had starred for both. Sadly, he would not be the last bereavement that Celtic, or for that matter, Scottish football would have to deal with in the course of a traumatic season.